Welcome guys to the fourth video of the series where I will show you how to defeat all the dungeons in Throne and Liberty. And today we are starting with Cursed Wasteland. Cursed Wasteland was on Korean release the dungeon with the most exploits and tricks. You could shorten those runs to 3 min solo and I was able to farm close to 2 million solo per hour with it. This is sadly not possible anymore and the boss mechanics got also changed. So now in the early passages of the dungeon you do have to kill all monsters and or mini bosses to advance to the next stage. The mini bosses have no dangerous mechanics so the only threat being opposed in the pathing is the yellow area damage on the floor in which monsters can hook you, so always have your block ready, not like this noob right here. Before we jump into the boss mechanics, let me show you what I have lately started using to improve my ping on the Korean servers. I went from this to that by basically pressing one button. With Gear Booster, I was able to reduce my ping by almost 95 milliseconds. This makes a huge difference in being able to dodge and block dungeon boss attacks. I am not losing packets anymore and my ping is stable and stopped spiking. Gear Booster is safe to use to connect to the Korean servers. If you can't wait until September 17th when the global release is hitting, following the link in the description and signing up for a 3 day free trial. Once you made it to the boss, you will see 3 separate areas. The best setup is tank in one area, most tanky DPS in one area, and the other 3 DPS and the healer together in one area. So it's 1, 1, 4 as a setup. The fight starts quite slow. You will have to dodge some fury attacks and he spawns dot area effects on the floor, which are easy to dodge. In the next mechanic, he spawns a red bubble above someone's head. This person now needs to run to the outside of the arena and watch his buff bar. Once the debuff is running down, he will pour back to the boss and DPS, while the AoE effect stays outside and is not damaging your teammate. The next mechanic is spawning a purple bubble above someone and this person will then be the target of the boss's next huge AoE attack. Now the teamwork comes in and you will have to open the gates on the outside of the arena for your purple player. Your team then wants to stand as far away from the purple guy than possible and the purple guy will move slowwards towards his team kiting the high damage beam of the boss. This will allow the rest of your team to constantly be dealing DPS. You will have to repeat this a couple of times and then you can already hear congratulations you defeated the boss and can now loot his chest with 300 dimensional tokens. Guys that was it with the video if you still have any questions let me know as always I will answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers guys.